Melanoma is one of the deadliest forms of skin cancer, and the number of cases affecting children is spiking. Today, Moffitt Cancer Center brought attention and awareness to this disease. Mary McGuire joins us now live in Tampa. And Mary, parents, I'm sure, often think about sunscreen, but they just need to be so very careful with their kids outside. They certainly do. We live in Florida where it is warm and sunny practically year round. And of course, kids want to get outside and enjoy that weather on playgrounds just like this one. And that's why parents need to be extra vigilant when it comes to sun protection and checking for skin cancer. She had a spot on her on her abdomen that we didn't think much about. Looked like a bruise, not a big deal. It's the diagnosis no parent ever wants to hear. Your child has cancer. First reaction is, what does this mean? What is this? I mean, you start, you're sweat and you're shaking and you're calling your parents and you're calling the grandparents and you're like, what are we supposed to do? That nightmare became a reality for the Wolk family two years ago when their then 11 year old daughter, Jaslyn, was diagnosed with a rare form of skin cancer. Cancer free and thriving now. Jaslyn was one of dozens of kids who got their annual checkup today at Moffitt Cancer Center. In the past few years, we've seen a steady rise in the number of children getting melanoma. Part of it is related to tanning beds, but we can't blame all of it on that. There are aspects that we don't know about. More research is needed to explain this staggering rise, but doctors agree keeping your kids out of tanning beds and protected in the sun is essential. Now, if your child has a mole that suddenly changes in size, shape, or color, that's a red flag warning for skin cancer, and you're definitely going to want to make an appointment with your dermatologist to check it out. Reporting live in Tampa, I'm Mary McGuire, News Channel 8.